Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I wanted to show you how to uh, enable Wi-Fi tethering onto your rooted Android device. So, uh, if you watch my other videos, um, I have a couple that are about rooting the Android device. So, if you have a successful root, um, one of the apps I highly recommend, or a lot of people look for, is a Wi-Fi tethering that allows you to... Um, tether into your mobile device and use the 3G as a wireless uh, connection so that you can surf the internet using your laptop or other devices can connect to your phone and use the internet on that so uh, there's an app um, that's for rooted devices and it's called the wireless tether for root users here's the thing for some reason I can't install it from here or I can't find it on the um, Android market when I search for it on, the phone, on my phone. I don't know why, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but uh, I can't seem to find it on there. And even when I try to install it on, on this page here, uh, it says that it's incompatible with my device. So it doesn't allow me to install it even through here so that I can wirelessly download it onto my phone or whatever. Um, but I found a way and that was to go to this this site here led me to the uh, Google code right so it led me to this Android Wi-Fi tether and so out of all these phones here the closest one that kind of uh, resembles mine it would be the Samsung Fascinate this is the Motorola Atrix and so uh, the closest one that I could find is the uh, Samsung Fascinate because it has 2.x here so it's made for devices that are either 2.1 2.2 or maybe 2.3 it's a highly experimental uh, but I just went and tried it anyways I downloaded it so I click on download and then so they have different versions here and the one that I tried was a somewhat stable version and they list all the different ones um, HTC Nexus Motorola which is what this one is so uh, I assume that it would work so when I click on it uh, it takes me to this page and I click on it again and it downloads here um, so then I have the file here right here so then I'm gonna use this program called uh, the Android Community uh, side load wonder machine I have another video on how to side load apps uh, on your uh, rooted device so uh, once I start that up I'm gonna go ahead and now and plug in my phone and remember your phone has to be on um, USB debugging mode and also um, yeah, just USB debugging mode. Alright, so uh, now I'm going to click on choose APK. And I'll choose a wireless tether 207.apk that I just downloaded. And then I'll click on install. It's going to work its magic. So it's successful. Press any key to continue. Now I'm going to unplug. And I want to show you. Wireless tether is right there. And when you click on it, comes up asking you to donate I'll just hit close for now oh um, if you get this no access control what you actually have to do is uh, make sure that your Wi-Fi is off because if your Wi-Fi is on it, it can't do Wi-Fi tethering Right, so uh, when you click on this button here, this Wi-Fi signal, 
when you click on it, it's going to ask you, uh, super user is up. And it's trying to have some super user type uh, access. So you have to click on allow. Alright, so now it's up and running. And by default, there is no um, password. But you can click on settings right here and click on settings and then you can go ahead and uh, enable Wi-Fi encryption change your SSID by default I think it's called Android tether yeah and uh, you can enable encryption when you enable encryption it's also going to ask you for a super user again so here it's asking you for a super user And then you can change your uh, encryption so you can put a password on there. So uh, yeah, all in all that's pretty much it. I don't really want to uh, test it here. I'm actually going to test the speeds near the AT&T towers on my work. So um, maybe there'll be another video on that. But anyways, that's how you get Wi-Fi tethering. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. John and Geek out. Peace!